For special intention, Bella Napuni. For special intention, Mary Family. Justice Motevi Banks Giving. Together with our various personal intentions, we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear many whispering, terror is on every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. Say all my familiar friends watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived. Then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly ashamed, for they will not succeed. The eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, who test the righteous, who see the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you have I committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evildoers. The word of the Lord. Response of your son. The response is, In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard me. In my, in, in my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard me. I love you, Lord, my strength. 
O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my savior. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard me. My God, my rock, where I take refuge, my shield, my saving strength, my stronghold, I cry out, praised be the Lord, and see, I am saved from my foes. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard me. The waves of death rose about me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the snares of the grave surrounded me, the traps of death confronted me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and he heard me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry to him reached his ears. In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard me. God's proclamation. Glory and praise to you. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, the Jews took up stones to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? The Jews answered him, we stone you for no good work, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are God? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, do you say of him whom the Father consecrated and sent the world, you are blaspheming? Because I said, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Again, they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John at first baptized, and there he remained. And many came to him, and they said, John did no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good from see for his crystal. This morning I told a story. I believe there is no harm to repeat it if you have not heard it. Or if you have, please shh. There is this story of one a lady, a woman, a wife, who went to the pharmacy. And she called the pharmacist, please come over. In Kenya, if you are told this way, 
you should know what it means. So this woman called the pharmacist to this come over. And then she she told the pharmacist, you know what? Do you have a very strong poison that can kill a full grown man? You understand a full grown man, not like me. Someone big enough who needs an overdose. And so, pharmacist told the woman, no, why would you do that? It is against the law. How can you kill? After all, it is your husband. Why kill him? They tried to talk her out of this, but she stood her ground. I must eliminate him today. Sell him the poison. If not, I'll go as far and get it. Or I can make it by myself. But now I need the one that is strong enough. So the pharmacy said, okay, right, we can do that. Do you have a prescription with you so that we can know the kind of dose you can give? She said, yes. They were caught again, but she said, I would want to talk to the doctor who prescribed that before you show me the prescription. The man said, I think you have listened to me. It's either give me the poison or I go as I am. The woman just went to her pass and she opened the pass. And she came out with a photo, a picture of her husband and the pharmacist having a wonderful time in the best result in this country, five star. Pharmacy said, you could have told me you have the best prescription. Now take this and go give me. Familiar faces. They would want to do anything. I don't know if you have the mind very well. What he has said, he has told us. Denounce me, let her denounce me. Say, oh, my familiar friends watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived, then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. Someone once said that the worst pain did not come from the fact that I was shot, but when I saw who shot the arrow, a very familiar face. How many times must I emphasize this that strangers may never harm you? In fact, most are harmless. Of course, if they are not that, most strangers are harmless. I remember giving an example here that if you miss a step right here and you make a safe to fall, the person who gets hold of you will be someone you have never seen in your life, a stranger. And I'm very sure if we all had a chance to testify right here, we would give moving stories of how someone saved your situation, someone totally new in your life. And I think that's where Jeremiah is. If you keep relying on those you call friends, here he calls them familiar friends. If you keep relying on those you call friends, do not be surprised one day they are the ones to disappoint you the most, to betray you the worst, and denounce you the loudest. Someone wrote, 
that if you keep selling your friends, betraying them, even your customers, the buyers, will one day stop trusting where you get your goods. If you keep betraying and selling your friends, even the buyers will not trust you. These are the people Jeremiah encounters today. They are the first people to enter our room. And just like Jeremiah, those who wait for your downfall are usually, or at times, very familiar faces. Never be tempted to think that everyone who wishes you bad is your enemy. Some enemies do not even care where your life is as long as you don't close lines. Who do you think these people around Jesus were at this point in his life? There are much children who each and every day crossed hills and mountains and lakes listening to him, but I must say, Please bring him down. And he's asking them in the gospel, I have shown you many good works. For which of these do you stone me? At times, no one does something back to you because you wronged them. No, it could be because you did something, even if it is of little good to them. And do you think we human beings have changed all these years of these people during Jeremiah's time and the time of Jesus were different? No. They will tell you who is you the fire. The good they have done to others will finish because of that. I was giving an example this morning that someone that closed your shamba, your garden, and he will insult you. Let us assume it is banana plantation. You grow some bananas. If you, he closes over and you spot him, the same same person, when you spot him and say, but I get some bananas, then you can just have some bite. Believe me, they will eat banana and they will beat you with the peelings themselves. You may protect yourself from enemies, but believe me, friends, familiar ones, they are edging closer and closer to finish you each and every day. We say we have enemies. Let us, God, protect me from my enemies. Bridge me in prayer. But also pray, God, protect me from my friends, familiar ones who are edging closer to harm me. But it's not always me. Who is the victim? Who has the last laugh? Jeremiah again says, Not even persecution will destroy me. The impending arrest will not stop Jesus from completing his mission when it came. Even when a very familiar face sold him, he said, I must carry on. Commit yourself to God. And the psalmist just told us today, In my anguish I call to the Lord, and He heard me. The only stronghold that you have is God. Not everyone who hurts you or rejects you is an enemy. Many are very close. Hence, the harm given, inflicted, is so grave. And by the way, which heart has to the most or takes time to heal or even to forgive? It is that heart or harm 
from a friend. Utilize the power of righteousness. Being righteous means you directing the pain, not vengeance, but drawing from the only stronghold that we can have. When you are confronted by every torment and anguish, you know what to do. Listen to the psalmist. My God, my rock, I take refuge. My shield, my saving strength, my stronghold. Goodness is always unlimited. You may be thrown back and forth, even by terror, but do it anyway. Even when persecution stares you right in the face, stand firm, cling to your stronghold. That familiar face that comes to destroy will one day say, He had faith, he trusted in his God, his only stronghold. To see who is a Christian. Sadaka Yangu Pago E Mungu Ni Moyo Mnyo my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice of your hands. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and they are to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite powers of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exhortation we acclaim. Amen. Amen. 
Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, we now are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. O Lord, and from the world's beginning, are ceasingly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters, indeed. Though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and in all his day to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were stretched between the heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, you desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Do kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Philip and your Lord Bishop, the Conciliary and all the clergy. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mother of God, the blessed apostle and all the saints, with our these brothers and sisters whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, free the trust from the world of corruption and made fully into a new creation, which I sing to you with gladness, thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. 
Their will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say what my soul shall. For our communion hymn, turn to page 277, hymn number 569, hymn number 569. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened the door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brother, that you do unto me whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me when I was weary you helped me find rest when I was anxious you calmed all my fears 
now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me when in a prison you came to my cell when on a sick bed you cared for my needs now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me heart in a battle you bond up my wounds searching for kindness you held out your hands now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me when i was age you bother to smile when i was less less you listened and cared now enter into the home of my father whatsoever you do to the least of my brother now we enter into the home of my father what a Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy words, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that with thy angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is good. Amen. You know, when Father was preaching about not just praying for enemies, but your priest, I mean, not priest but your friends, I looked at the screen and I realized it's as if he was looking at me because I'm his friend. 
even ourselves, Jesus posed a question today in the gospel. Of all these good things I have done to you, which of these are you stoning me for? And I just remember the other day, I met a woman who was crying bitterly, literally crying. And she told me, Father, Wezi amini huyu nimemulea miaka yote kwangu alafu amechukua mume wangu hii ni shetani ya mtu i asked her can i see do you have a picture she showed my problem was not the lady but kuona hiyo shetani ya mtu ndio nikamwambia sasa nimejua when i see her anywhere i will know he ni Put yourself in the shoes of that woman. There are so many people, our friends, our relatives, who have really injured us. And the best prayer, perhaps in our thinking, we can pray is the prayer of Jeremiah. He was asking for vengeance, but he forgot one thing. Leave vengeance for God. God is the best avenger of what we go through. They have done so many things, but the best we can do is to pray for them. Are you going to pray for them? Yes. Let me first begin by praying for you. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that your servant who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to serve God. Our mass is ended. Amen. Have a blessed afternoon. Amen. Yeah.